Hello and welcome to Credit B presents RCB 12th Man TV. When was the last time we saw five wickets going down within the first 15 balls of a T20I game on a track that made the batsmen sweat? Team India's bowlers helping India draw first blood with a clinical eight wicket victory. The track at the Greenfield International Stadium made us wonder whether the match was being played in Kerala or Cape Town as the fast bowlers made the batsmen dance to their tune. A target of 107 chased down with 20 balls to spare. Here are our top three takeaways. At number three, Deepak Chahar and Arshdeep wreak havoc with the new ball. Swing and seam in the air, the ball moving both ways the visitors finding it hard to lay bat to ball. The opening spell by Deepak Chahar and Arshdeep was as good as it comes. Half the side accounted for in the first 15 deliveries of the game. The skipper could not have asked for anything better having elected to field first. Arshdeep's ability with the new ball and Chahar showing he's not lost a single trick upon his return to T20 international cricket augurs well for the men in blue. These are really nice bro. Thanks a lot for the gift. Credit B. Loans anytime, anywhere. At number 2, KL Rahul keeps the protein pacers at bay. If the track had plenty of demons in it, imagine facing the protein new ball attack of Kagizo Rabada, Wayne Parnell and Andrik Nokia. With the required rate not a concern, KL Rahul patiently blunted out the threat of the South African pace trio from where the visitors' hopes of snatching an unlikely victory was all but over. A half-century on a track like the one in Thiruvananthapuram will give the opener from Karnataka plenty of confidence. And at number one, Surya Kumar Yadav blazes away yet again. Only someone in the form that Sky is in could have made batting look that easy on that track. It took him all but two balls to smash Nokia into the stands. On a track where only two other batsmen had a strike rate of above 100, Sky finished with a 50 and the strike rate of over 150. Words hardly do any justice to kind of dominance the Mumbai batter has been asserting, do they? It was as clinical as it could get from Team India against a side of the calibre of South Africa. With just two games remaining ahead of the T20 World Cup, the next two games may not be as one-sided as the series opener. Sunday evening, Guwahati, can in India wrap up the series or will the men from the Rainbow Nation make a comeback? We will find out.